6.05 p.m. on a Monday and I'm just filming for the first time. It's been a pretty busy day, but a good day nonetheless. I have been up since, oh, let me turn off my fan. Roughly f quarter of five this morning. I don't know why. Went to bed at a normal time last night. Just woke up kind of like ready to go. I didn't really do anything right then at quarter to five because hello, it's quarter to five. Then I took the dog for a walk. It was really nice to walk her before the sun came up like over the houses because it gets really hot. Today, it was really hot. It's 91 degrees right now at 6 p.m. And the highest it got today was 103. I walked her early while it was still cool, which was really nice. Morning ritual most mornings, yogurt and YouTube. And then I had to go get my tires rotated. So that was pretty fun. Sat at a coffee shop across the street for a bit. Um, posted a couple TikToks. Maybe I'll add them in here. This is the TikToks. Uh, I made a reel and a TikTok. I actually made two separate videos. I know a lot of people make one video and post them on separate platforms, but I don't think that's how you like build an audience on both platforms. Um... YouTube's going pretty well. I'm I have over 80 subscribers right now. I don't even know if I know 80 people um, So thank you so much to everyone who is here. I hope This whole intro looks really nice. I got a new wide-angle lens for my camera a nice 16 millimeter lens So hopefully you can see more of my studio Hopefully it makes it look a little bit bigger. I noticed there's a bit of distortion on the edges because I do film with my iPhone and it's a clip-on lens and it's kind of hard to avoid lens distortion with clip-on lenses. Do I sound like I know what I'm talking about? <laughs> Anyway, I got a new lens, been trying this out. I kind of just made like art all day. I've been working on digitizing my Peachtober designs. I have them all sketched out. I'm currently digitizing them on Procreate. My plan was to approach this Peachtober with the same process that Shan approaches hers. I'm very excited for Peachtober. This is the first year that I've been like really prepared. Last year was the first year that I've ever finished every single prompt. I was super proud of myself. I'm still learning and growing. I really only started drawing on my iPad like a year and a half ago and I really started on that before I started 
using traditional media again. I have a couple sketchbooks here and there, but nothing that I like approached seriously. Still learning, still growing. I'm currently editing a vlog. I finally have a chance to pick up the phone and talk to you guys because my husband just got home. Kind of a wild day with my father-in-law. Always keeps it exciting. I did manage to get some sketching in between all that wildness and I made some really cute new like Halloween things that I want to show you. So I painted this sugar skull cat which is just like the cutest thing I've ever seen and I just finished this little ghosty. I think He's adorable and I love the pop of fluorescent pink. My One of my best friends got me tempera paint sticks for my birthday, which I'd never used tempera paint before. Didn't really know much about them. They go on kind of waxy, but like the texture is just delicious. It almost reminds me of oil pastels, but without the cleanup. And I made this quick little spread, um, not really nothing to and then I was like, this texture reminds me so much of Shan, so I had to like, I have her like rainbowy mountain and flowers print on my wall. Um, and so I just kind of like pulled from that and did like a couple of flowers that she's done, but using temper paint sticks. I think these are probably the options that I, um, this is the one that the print I have. So I was like, oh, let me take it a little further and see like how far I can push it. Um, and then my sketchbook is for exploring. It doesn't always have to be your own original artwork. Studies are a really good thing to learn from. Um, and then from that, I've made these two flowers, which I really liked, but I did get some, I think the page, I was so stoked on these temper sticks, I did these two, and then turned the page immediately to do another one, and I, I didn't give them a chance to try. Um, but that was cute. It was really just getting the flowers. I loved this like fluorescent mulvey color. Um, so I'm super into tempera paint sticks right now. They are so much fun. But thinking about Lee and her woodblock phase, I'd be like, I was like, oh, it'd be cool to like try tempera on a woodblock. I have a sugar skull dog that I'm gonna paint next. Maybe tonight, we'll see. My husband did just get home with dinner for everyone, so I'm probably gonna go eat soon and then come back and keep editing this vlog. I just found the best song. So I'm really excited to edit the vlog to this song. It's gonna be a super quick vlog, just about like my trips to the botanical garden. You will have already seen it. It would have gone up before this video. Yeah, that's it. Just your typical Monday. Yeah, I'm going to make sure this video actually recorded and that you can hear me. I know I'm talking very softly. I wanna see how this lens looks for video and uh, I'm gonna go eat dinner. I'll catch you guys later. Bye. I've been watching a lot of cat nips, so. I love you. Goodbye. Hey everyone. So I just did an intro for today and I was on time lapse. So that was kind of funny. <laughs> Kind of not. <laughs> Today's Tuesday, March 27th. I just got back from the dentist. I'm kind of chilling and just making things. My Etsy shop, finishing up some handmade pieces, which I'm really excited about. And I'm watching a couple of goofs. So we're just gonna like chill and vibe until lunch. And then I'm probably gonna go outside and take some product photos because I bought some poster board for product photos, so. <laughs> of my sugar skull animals and doing a white coat <clears throat> on my little ghosty. I think I'm also going to redo the paint like for the fluorescent paint I did around the edge that I really like and I'm thinking about selling them along with a Gigi inspired cat that I made last year but that I actually varnished so I'm wondering oh should I varnish my ghost or not so we'll kind of see. 
Right now it is 1.23. I'm very tired. Um, I'm trying to drink water to stay awake, but I may honestly go lay down and take a nap because <laughs> I'm so tired. only 99 degrees <laughs> which is nice a nice break I just finished doing some laundry painting and drawing all morning and I just needed something so I folded some laundry to kind of do something like a bit different with my hands which was nice to do I recently went through and did like a huge edit on my closet took out a lot of things I actually put them up for sale on Poshmark which I've had a couple pieces sell, which has been kind of fun. But anyway, I've done that, so I've actually made a lot of space in my closet because I'm not hanging as many things now, and I feel so much better when I get up in the morning to get dressed. I've never been like a clothes horse, never been like a person to get excited about fashion. I think because I've always been a little curvier and shopping has always been harder for me. When I got diagnosed with lupus four years ago, like my weight has just been all over the place. And then like, you know, hormones. And then like, 
I got pregnant and my weight fluctuated. And you can tell I'm uncomfortable because my voice is getting really tight talking about it. <clears throat> but anyway, like <clears throat> getting up in the morning is, and to get dressed is like not my favorite thing in the world. So it's nice to have clothes that I know that I like, that I like how they fit, that I feel comfortable in, and that's all I pull from. Which most people are probably like, yeah, that's what my whole closet is. But it wasn't for me. I was getting into like a lot of trends or a lot of like what people thought you should wear or things like that. And so I'd always like look at these clothes that I no longer fit or that didn't look good on me. And I just it was, it was not the best way to start off a day. <laughs> I'm getting really sweaty talking about this. I don't know why. And my face is turning red, which it does. Long story short, I just finished doing the laundry. Um, I'm going to keep sketching a bit. I'm going to finish editing a video that I need to put up tomorrow and not make any tea or coffee because I feel kind of jittery after the one coffee I had today. Okay, yeah, no more procrastination. Let's get started. <laughs> I guess not. <laughs> 